hey Virgo this is Kelly welcome back to my channel back to the house of Virgo this is a Virgo channel only so if you have Virgo Sun Moon rising or Venus placements you are welcome to listen to this reading or if you're a cross watcher welcome welcome okay you guys so let's get into your reading how is everybody doing hope you like the intro uh, if you want to get a personal reading of course there's always a link in the description box below this video also um, go into my gumroad account there is a link underneath where I will provide an extended reading if I feel the reading this reading in particular calls for that I will provide a link underneath but I'll let you know as it goes through the reading okay um, please do hit like share and subscribe I greatly appreciate it all right Virgo let's see what's going on in your love life what are the messages here for you for the month of May and I'm here every night 10 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with your reading so do become a member of my channel and join the chat community okay all right you ready okay you've got acts oh breakup separation stopping the pattern silent treatment and abandonment so okay some stuff going on here well oh. I hope you can see it but anyway obviously it's an axe okay um, maybe somebody's giving you the silent treatment or you're feeling abandoned at this time um, or you're doing that to someone this can go in either direction okay stopping some kind of pattern though that's what I feel like is going on here let me see okay ascension transcending obstacles learning expansion new phase preparing for union okay hmm so this feels to me like some type of a connection with someone okay that somebody is breaking away from stopping some old patterns in former relationships um like i said it could be a former it's some type of a relationship not repeating the same pattern not repeating cycles ascending getting over some type of obstacles okay for some of you this really could be your energy where you know you're taking a look at your past relationships and finding the common denominator and why maybe things haven't worked out in the past for you and I'm gonna put a little more light here and I feel like you're breaking some serious maybe ancestral patterns or cycles in your life maybe somebody's going you know into counseling or, or seeking some type of mental wellness of some sort okay there might have been some abandonment issues or silent treatment okay and also it could be somebody else as well going through this process of this phase of development here right so there's obviously some type of separation between two people and somebody here it could be both are actually seeking ways to stop some type of recurring cycle in a relationship okay let me see all right stabbed in the back heartbreak pain separation deception shocking attack holy what the yesterday's reading was beautiful okay overcoming overcoming some again all breakup all separation but there's a new phase that's before you here virgo and before somebody else that you could be in separation with um i feel like this is a story of two people who really truly love and care about each other okay um and needed to break up in order to regroup and take a look at the way a relationship went the way it evolved um, because I feel like two people needed to get out of something because the way it was going before was not progressive it wasn't it wasn't working something here was not working so there is this element here of not talking to each other and not communicating just full stop on some type of relationship learning and expanding and looking at whatever obstacles that kept a relationship from moving forward and like i said 
There could have been some deception or there could have been some abuse, um, shocking attack, okay? Um, heartbreak, stabbed in the back energy. So, hmm. The most important, the key that I see here is that there's ascension. There's uh, learning from the past and starting a new phase and preparing to be in a healthy relationship again or to create or cultivate healthier relationships going forward. Now that could be you um, not wanting to go back to the past but learning from the past. It could also be this person where this relationship is done and lessons have been learned and people are moving forward moving on with their lives could also be preparing for a new phase together but we're gonna have to see because i'm not i'm not feeling reconciliation right here yet now if it shows up in the reading then that might be the case but again this is an energy of even if there is a reconciliation which we'll look and see it does not necessarily mean that it's going to be something that can happen if two people are not, you know, becoming accountable for themselves, their own actions. That's not just the other person, Virgo, that, you know, has to be you as well. Okay, so let's take a look and see what other messages there are going forward for you. This feels like a damn therapy session. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's take a look. What's going on? Oh, look. Got the devil, the shadow side. People are taking, somebody's taking a look at their dark, dark side, the, the shadow, their addictions, the toxicity that's within them. Who is this? Okay. This could be a Capricorn. Is this you or is this somebody else? Okay. Um, there might have been jealousy. Uh, you know, the how many deadly sins are there you know jealousy sloth envy you know all of them addictions of some sort um, obsessions control feeling chained manipulation anxiety um, yeah, again abandonment silent treatment uh, some type of um, Attachment styles, not being healthy, okay? Being attached to the devil, right? Let's take a look here. Facing demons. Somebody is facing their demons. You know, and I have to say, yeah, freeing themselves. Here's a fool. Freeing themselves from the chains that this devil energy has on them, okay? Um obsession and control I feel like this relationship may have had those elements between two people that toxicity cultivated toxicity two people maybe subconsciously you're not even knowing they were doing it and freeing themselves you know getting out getting away from that um, having a new phase going on a new venture a new beginning having hope again Somebody here is taking a huge chance. This could be recovering from some uh, some kind of an addiction, starting over, starting from you know the very beginning, which is the fool, um, relearning how to be healthy. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. Mm -mm -mm. Aquarian energy right there. confidence strength becoming more secure okay leo energy we have three major arcana cards so this is very much a message of like boom yes this is definitely happening this is like universe is coming down and making this happen these aren't when we have major arcana cards these are not major arcana cards are are this is like spiritual influence you know, this is stuff that, you know, life, fate, destiny. This is not being created by a person, place, or thing. This is like no other choice but to submit to what the universe is bringing before us, okay? So in some type of relationship that was unhealthy um, for two people, getting out of this, this seems to be the first step separating 
um, from the toxicity is the first step in order to let the fog clear because I feel like there was a relationship in the past where two people nobody understood the other there was a, um, a difficulty in trying to understand here um, where each person was coming from because each person wasn't even sure where they were coming from in some way okay so I feel like with the strength card here this is a message really of like taming the beast okay because we have a lion here the lion is not the king of the jungle lions don't live in the jungle the lion is the king of beasts and this person here is now sitting next to this calm soothing beast okay so this is an energy here where somebody is actually taming that wild side which can come with that devil energy that wild um, like a wild horse an untamed stallion you know wild and free um, that too could speak of with this fool card because the addictions were wild and free the toxicity was running wild somebody's taming this energy within themselves all right um, and this is also you know learning to love the self again self-love unconditional love having self-respect gaining back trying to gain back there there might have been an energy someone was full of shame that's what the devil card is uh, a sense of shame of the way they behaved in a relationship this fool card makes me feel like it's a clean slate happening here okay look at that three of pentacles now very these could these energies could be reversed and i just want you to know that it doesn't necessarily have to be the other person so um you know if you're resonating more with it it could just very well be you hold on i gotta change this song because it's creepy hold on <laughs> my ocd i don't really have ocd but i just like to call it that so the three of pentacles is here basically to say that um we're learning some new skills somebody's learning some new skills relationship skills i just feel like somebody's getting some kind of um embarking on a new journey getting some kind of counseling or therapy um or just speaking or surrounding themselves with healthier people choosing that soul tribe that is healthier here okay um there's a lot of hurt and a lot of pain okay now we have the death card so let's see capricorn aquarius leo and scorpio energy so yeah putting death putting the past in the past and starting over somebody's rebuilding reconstructing something here the self i feel like virgo if this was someone that you were connected with this person had no idea how to be in a relationship I just feel like and I'm not sitting here placing blame I don't want to be blaming because um, it, it, it could have been could have been you as well had a, a difficult time um, or maybe just the dynamic of the relationship because it was so unhealthy made it really hard to um, know how to be healthy in it because it was so healthy or so unhealthy okay so I feel like somebody's coming in here with the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's offering a cup of love to another person. Um, in a nutshell, Virgo, this just feels to me like somebody is taking a look at their past transgressions, their mistakes, their um, sabotaging ways, um, their anxieties and their shame and things like that that kept... I mean, is this, a, is this a case of you were dealing with someone who was spiritually disordered, who is getting better? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and coming in with a love offer here, you know? Um, I feel like somebody here really does love you or has deep, admirable, you know, affections for you, has deep affections for you, or just, I don't know how deep, but definitely has affections for you and um, wants to try to 
have some kind of a love thing with you, have love again, offer their cup, you know? This person is driven by their emotion and they're feeling for you. I feel like somebody here um, either wants that cup being brought to them or this person wants to bring it. All right, let's see here. And and there is an offer coming in the month of May. And I feel like I keep saying that. I feel like I keep saying that. I just want to bring some clarifying cards. Let's take a look because we have quite a few. I mean, the two minor arcana is the three of pentacles and the knight of cups. So this is telling me that someone is going is really going to be... Um, working hard to uh, learn some new skills and even possibly reconstruct this relationship in a different way. That's their effort. Is that equivalent to a bloody stop? Hell yeah. And that's their effort that they're bringing in. So let's take a look. Show us spirit this devil card. What is the energy here with this devil card? There was somebody here who brought like um, a lot of alcohol into this relationship. I don't know how that resonates for you or what that might mean, but okay, let's see. Look at that temperance. This is getting balanced. Somebody might have had um, an imbalance in their moods or their um, personality in some way. Temperance is coming in with like a really good disposition. That's Sagittarius energy. Temperance is coming in like balance, harmony, peace, wants to make peace. It's making peace with the devil, not making a deal with the devil, but making peace. Like kind of saying, okay, you had me, you got me, I see it, but you're not going to control me anymore. Somebody was being controlled and therefore they might have been controlling. Okay. Or they had that kind of toxicity. Maybe it was like something in their childhood or something. Let's get another clarifying card here. Balance and moderation as well. Uh, regulating emotions. Balance and moderation um, in perhaps drinking um, or medication. Getting their medication right, I'm just hearing. Because it's weird. I was just looking at that and I was seeing like a chemist mixing up the medication. Somebody might have had... Um, an imbalance due to like um like a mood psychosis or a mood issue due to a bad mix of medication or something along those lines that's kind of specific but let me see here look at that seven of swords so deception and lies that's all tied up into that okay um somebody might have been lying about drug and alcohol addiction or something along those lines here but it definitely feels like this person is freeing themselves um, they could not balance or moderate uh, or regulate their emotions or activities or things like that and it feels to me like they're back to square one um, and starting fresh and clean because that's what that fool card means this is a big risk this person's taking a big chance and letting go of past how i want to say this somebody sold their soul to the devil and letting go now for breaking free getting their soul back because that's what the fool is the fool is like the fool is like the embryo before it becomes a full you know flesh baby if the, if the fool has all of the soul in it before the baby's even born you know that's where life really begins there that's when all the ingredients start coming together okay um so with the fool card that's like it's a zero it's the o which is like the embryo it's the beginning the alpha the omega it's the beginning I think I said that right, or the Omega. Is it the Omega? Um, all right, let me take a look at the Fool here. Yep, here we go, travel, travel, freeing themselves, separating themselves for going on this new adventure with the Eight of Cups, separating themselves from this, this struggle. Maybe it was a person, they were in a toxic relationship in the past that they couldn't get out of. 
and something wasn't going forward with you because there was some type of interference. That's why we have heartbreak, deception, stabbed in the back, maybe finding out some shocking news, um, having to break up. Somebody might have been giving you silent treatment or abandoning you because there was somebody else. Um, some of you just decided to stop the pattern, stop the cycle, and just walk away. Um, learning from this, like I said, transcending this, this is a major obstacle. We have a knife and an ax. I mean, and then getting away from that with the ascension, floating away with the balloons, you know? I mean, it's so clear what was going on here. Well, almost clear. Let me see the strength card. Okay. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, generally Pisces, but it's water element. It's someone that's very intuitive, but very, um, could be very emotional and quite moody. Um, they are so moody, water signs, very affected by the moods. Um, they're very sensitive. They feel things extreme to the depths that most signs can't get to. You know, um, most other signs can't get to. They, they're like hypersensitive. They're very raw uh, with their emotions and very reactive um, internally. Like it really just depends. I mean, if you've got, if it's a cancer um, water sign, it doesn't matter if it's a sun, that's their sun. It's just that if they have that cancer energy with the moose, because we're talking about the emotions, um, very, very sensitive. All three water signs, very sensitive. It's cancer. It's a little more of um, displayed in, in sometimes more sarcastic uh, comments or digs and things like that can be kind of harsh at times. If it's Pisces, um, Pisces are, can be quite passive depending on if they're a shark or a goldfish. But with their emotions, they can be kind of passive with their emotions, even if they're aggressive in uh, other ways. And if it's a Scorpio, um, generally very supportive, but withholds real deep down and doesn't ever, they're most of the time wearing a poker face. So you wouldn't really even know what they're feeling. Um, but whatever it is, I feel like courage to uh, this person's gaining the confidence and courage to appreciate and love who they are um, in a healthy way rather than it could have been someone who was loving themselves in a very narcissistic way, you know, um, giving themselves false love out of insecurity rather than just accepting who they are. Okay, let me see here. So you could have been dealing with someone who had water in their chart somewhere. Okay. Hmm. Um, what is this courage? This person is coming to this place here um, in May where they're needing to make this decision. They have a decision that they have to make. Okay. Now that they're gaining the strength and the courage, whatever your person's sign is, now that they're gaining the strength and the courage to love themselves and put this past stuff behind them, now they're at a crossroad. Now they have to make a decision. Do they compromise? and try to come forward, which we do feel like is happening here, and try to set a relationship straight. Um, I feel like that's where they're at. I'm not telling you where you're at. I'm not telling you what you should do. We're just taking a look at this person. Um, so they're kind of withdrawn still, even though they go through this process of healing. They're still kind of withdrawn because they're trying to decide on their own based on you know their intuition their emotions, their feelings about what they want to do and if they can do that. And as we saw, that's leading them to make a decision here to try to learn how to be healthy and in a healthy relationship. Okay, so this is where this person is at. Let's just take a look at death. Okay page of wands in the reverse. All right, so I have to say this, okay. I feel like in the past, somebody here had an incredible, crazy crush. That's a lot of C's. Incredible, crazy crush on somebody. 
couldn't even see that person for who they were was just so <sighs> crush crush energy can be very lustful fiery immature um it, if it's, it feels like to me that a relationship stayed that way, that it never progressed, in a, it never matured, right? It, it's, it feels to me like a relationship, this relationship in the past became very toxic because it was very immature. You know, it started out maybe as like an attraction, a lustful, fiery kind of attraction, but it never really matured. And then jealousy took over and then addiction, I'm, 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 I'm seeing the video, um, a song by Eminem and Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna um, and I forget the name of the song, um, where they were in a very unhealthy, a very toxic relationship. It's kind of like, it feels like that's kind of how it went. Now, I don't know if this is going to resonate for you if you're listening to this, but with the page of wands in the reverse um that's definitely showing me here there was an immaturity breaking up over immature behavior um over dependence uh, could have been codependency in a lot of ways um kind of like um oh someone just weak weak um very weak uh struggling Okay, someone who would struggle a lot, um, couldn't like a relationship go, a lot of back and forth, in and out kind of energy, very unhealthy stuff. So I feel like as that sits there on that death card, that is death to the immaturity. Growing up, that really is what that is. This is just gross. Or growing up, I know somebody here might have said to your person, oh, grow up. Just grow up already. I know some of you either were thinking that or you said that to somebody. And you know what? I feel like this person took that to heart, you know? And they're done with their childhood. They're done with their acting out immaturity, acting out in immature ways. It's putting an end to that here. Okay? Because death, I'm um, sorry, yeah, death it's interesting. Um, this is like ending and um, moving forward, transforming, you know, like a child transforms into an adult. So basically somebody here was very immature, acted like a child, didn't remember I said, I think in the beginning, just didn't know how to be in a relationship. And um, is, here you go. School is going back to school, like Okay, what am I going to do? I think I need to study. Uh, I think it, because it's not, you know, I do feel like somebody here really does ha um, have love for you. But it was very immature love. That's, that's the message I'm getting. It was very immature love because this person didn't know how to love themselves. Okay? This person did not know how to love themselves. Let's take a look at your energy. Let's see what you have going on. So I'm, I'm definitely feeling like, you know, Page of Cups energy is not here. It, 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 it's in the background. The Page of Cups energy um, basically is volunteering their love, thinking about love. Um, I feel like you're, this person is coming in here with the Knight of Cups to try to, you know, make amends or offer their cup of love. Um, have a new start They're them coming into telling telling you with the one cup here is similar to the ace of cups bringing in this you know proposal marriage let's start again can we try again try to fix something here all right uh, telling you that they've grown up or they've changed um apologizing for you know their discretions in the past which is nice okay but let's take a look at you see what your energy is I'm going to get my music up a little bit. Okay, Virgo. What is Virgo's energy with this situation? Okay, Virgo, you have the Eight of Cups in the reverse, so it feels to me like you um, 
I have to tell you, this is reconciliation. Okay, you will go back and um, you're learning from the past as well and you will either return home to this person or you will, um, you know, this is a choice that you will make though, right? Either way. Um, this is not a, an advice card. The minor arcana can be switched, it can be changed. Okay, so just remember that. But what I'm seeing here is you might return home to this person and give it another chance because it seems like they're coming in with honesty and sincerity. And I feel like they're going to try to do something differently here with you. Okay, so for some of you, I know it's not all, um, but this is like you'll see that this person has fully learned from their past mistakes okay now if this is now listen it really just depends though i i am not telling you that if he, if somebody cheated on you 10 times and now they want another chance that you should take them take them back i mean you have to make your decision here and i have a legal disclaimer not to be used to make major life decisions it's only for guidance for you to think about things about what you, you know, your decisions that you make, okay? It doesn't matter what anybody else does. It matters what you're doing for you, but making a conscious decision. And I feel like the opportunity is going to rise here for you where, you know, you're going to allow someone to come back to you. You may not go back to them, but you may allow them to come back in to see if they've learned from the past, fully learned, okay? So you've got the nine of wands in the reverse here isolation is ending okay um you're getting your faith back you might be a little defensive still which i mean if you were in a, a difficult relationship of course you would right um hold on yeah so if you were in something difficult yeah you might have your defenses up you might have your dukes up a little bit here still can't deny that but i feel like you might allow somebody to come back in to try to explain themselves or you know something along those lines here okay i feel like you're you still want to have faith um it's hard for you to be without this person but at the same time it's freeing and you're you're probably happy and joyous okay now somebody left a comment that said they're tired of hearing from the about the past person so I don't know who it was and I'm not going to say any names, but I have one message for you. Click off my channel if you don't like it, okay? Because sometimes, you know, relationships are relationships and not every message is for you. And if you want to come in and comment every single time that you don't, you're sick and tired of hearing, then all you're doing is complaining. Nobody's, nobody's forcing you to stay. Just click off the video, Okay, because there's some, it's selfish. There's some people in here that want to heal their past relationships. So let's not be all about ourselves every two minutes here. Um, and people who leave me those comments, I delete them from my channel. I don't need them. So if you don't want to be here, <laughs> just let me know. I'll help you out. <laughs> so let's take a look here. Okay, so got the ten of wands so Virgo this is an energy of um you know you you definitely are carrying a lot of burdens on your shoulder here you you've got you're exhausted you're just stressed some of you are just definitely stressed about if this person comes back in you kind of want to hear what they have to say if they're coming in with their bloody stumps and they're doing all that yeah part of you is like yeah okay but at the same time Virgo, it feels to me like you're kind of like just, you don't have the energy. You don't have the full amount of energy. You're not going to put any energy into this. You don't even, look, your hands are tight. You're not free. Okay. You've already got enough on your plate. I don't see you letting somebody back and then doing all the work. I don't. I feel like the burden of proof lies on this person now. And I feel like you're going to allow that. You're going to, you're going to allow them to come in and you know you're gonna how can i say this you're not going to chase after to get answers you're going to allow them to come in and give you answers and then when that happens 
and you, you get a sense that, okay, this person's really sincere and they really want to try to work things out, then I think you might open up a little bit and, and start, you know, talking about your stuff with them, you know, a little bit of dialogue. It's not you have to come back and admit all your faults and everything you've done wrong in order to pass my test and I don't have to do anything. It doesn't work that way. Reciprocity is constantly at working, exchanging of energy, you know, um, because Virgo, even if somebody was abusive to you and they were in the wrong and the relationship went on for a long time like that, you might feel at times, well, it's not your, you know, you're not at fault, but in some ways, um, you know, there's this thing that we have in as real estate or, bro or realtors, brokers, that there's, um, there's a thing called negligence, that you can be accountable for negligence, um, just like with children. Um, you may not, some people may not hit their children, but they, they purposely stop feeding them or they run away. Passive, passive behavior can be um, very, um, uh, I guess I want to say abusive in some ways, not dealing with things, right? So in some ways, Virgo, maybe there's a question for you is like, okay, this person was treating me badly, but why did I stay for so long? What was going on within me that I was allowing this to continue? Why was I trying to fix everything? Why was I trying to um, get this person to change? Um, why was I thinking that I had that kind of power? What was going on with me? And was I being manipulated? And when I realized that this toxic relationship was doing this to me, if I didn't leave then, what was going on? It's all about discovery. So it's questioning what was going on with me that kept me staying in this connection for so long, right? Um, it doesn't mean, I, I feel like, really what I feel like is um, two people here came together and they came in this way. And because of the connection, repelled one another, yet kept coming back to each other, runner chaser stuff. But at the same time, there's this like opening and a realization, there's ascension is happening here. And it all has to do with growth and maturity. It really is what I feel like. So I don't see you really, yeah, see, you're pretty much Virgo, if this person's coming back, um, you know, to make amends or try to work something out, yet you're kind of like, you're going to be hiding a little bit. I mean, you'll have your ear, like if this person knocks at the door, you're going to have the door chained, but you'll open it just a tiny little bit so that like your eyeball pops out and you're like, yeah, <laughs> looking at them through the crack of the door, you know? Like this guy holding, he's looking at him through the cracks here. Yeah, you don't, you're not opening that door all the way. And, at, you know, I feel like you're going to kind of do the seven of swords of just, you know, picking up your sticks and like just ignoring and, and kind of running away a little bit because you don't really want the confrontation. You don't want to deal too much with anything. Part So you're kind of on the fence here is what I see, right? Like you want this person to make these big changes but at the same time you also want to run away you don't you, you like you you'll give them just a tiny little bit to connect with you and then you're gone and then if they try to connect with you again you're going to give a teeny little bit they're the ones who are going to be um it seems like coming after you and you're not going to be chasing because there's a lack of some trust here with the seven of swords your person has it here it's over here there's two people who really um you know deception or have a difficult time trusting each other okay so if anything virgo you're going to give very little okay reciprocity like i said and i was talking about if you tend to be passive or run away you know that's how you're giving in the relationship now at this time um i don't i don't think runner chaser relationships are healthy and i would never encourage them i think it's best to just be secure and talk about how you feel express how you feel and then try to drum up some dialogue and solve some problems or resolve issues and then if you know people can't resolve them then you know it may not be there's nothing you can do really um and just say okay we we can agree to disagree and leave it alone but then 
if needs aren't getting met, then it's not a healthy relationship, right? So you might just give very little to this person and then make a decision that you're going to dip out after a little bit. But are you really dealing with your emotions there? Like I said, some of you might be getting a little bit of counseling or you're doing some therapeutic work or mental wellness or spiritual healing, which is great. And there's some stuff here. Obviously, if you've been in a long-term relationship that was unhealthy, it's going to have an effect on you. So there's stuff here that you might need to take a look at, you know, and I feel like you're going to, right? Okay. I do feel like though in there's, so you're conflicted. I see a lot of conflicted energy here with you. You know, you open the door just to crack, but you got high, high boundaries up. You'll give just a little and then you run away, but yet you're open for the opportunity because you really love this person, they really love you, and you both really want it. It's just you're tiptoeing around each other, I see. Not being sure, you know, it's kind of like, okay, eggshells, I'm, I'm, I'm picking up like eggshells. You know, this could be like an eggshell here, you know, handing over the egg, like, uh, you could be giving out eggshells, you could be worried this person's gonna, you know, get you feeling like you're walking on eggshells. There's a lot of high sense, hypersensitivity going on here. And you have no major arcana, Virgo, so this tells me you can do something about this here. What's happening to this person? This is not a decision they're making. Life is making it for them. So it's the, the honest really is on you, how you're going to handle this situation you know, if this person's coming back, you know, um, you can turn these cards around. The major arcanas cannot be turned around. The only decision this person really is making is to come towards you and offer love again. And also they're making a decision here to, um, get some type of, um, schooling or training of some sort to help them, um, not to be help to help them be healthy but for you i feel like your stuff here is like you can turn these cards around and make a decision either way what you want to do but i see you kind of on the fence i see you a little conflicted one minute you're yes then you know you're nasty. you're a little bit fickle about it let's see if any more major arcana show up Now, see, you've got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. You think this person is um, an emotional manipulator or a player, um, but you're also, you're questioning that as well. I feel like if you're going through some, maybe if you're getting some mental wellness or spiritual counseling, you might be seeing the situation a little bit differently um, because the, the hanged man is definitely spiritual counseling like that's that's a spiritual card no doubt um gaining a new perspective in what you may have thought about this person um um there is an energy here where um i feel like you're you're there's something going on here where you're, you're going to be saying this person really wasn't what I thought they were. Maybe they really weren't such a jerk. Maybe they really just had severe problems or they had like, you know, an addiction. Maybe they weren't trying to hurt me, but I got hurt on the sidelines because of their actions and the things that they chose to do. Okay. Um, that doesn't mean that your person is, um, should not be held accountable for the things that happened to you. Of course they should. And I feel like this is what's going on. This person is 100% seeking accountability and I feel like they're going to come in and say yeah even though I may have been maybe I blacked out from drinking or I was on a binge and drug use or whatever um that doesn't negate the things that I did to you right so you know I love it when people who get clean from alcohol and drug addiction or whatever and they turn around and they say well i was sick so it's not, it wasn't my fault and i'm just like the, the hell it wasn't your fault you you're you you you're gonna go to jail if you're drunk driving and you kill somebody you can't say well i was blacked out it wasn't my fault it was your fault yeah so i feel like there's going to be something here where this person is going to come in and take accountability 
and rather than use an excuse for why um, for why you got hurt rather than them saying to you I'm sorry you got hurt it's gonna be I'm sorry that I was the direct cause or the indirect cause of your pain I'm sorry because it was because of me no matter how far apart or how direct it's because of me that you were hurt and I feel like you're gonna see something a little bit different about this person it's not just gonna be lip service it's in the way they say they're sorry like they don't just say I'm sorry they say why they're sorry and then they go into long detail diatribe about why they're sorry that's gonna be a, a big shift and a big change for you look at that you've got the six of wands and the eight of wands so I feel like that's what you need even if it's just to move on and not reconcile with this person um, and just get your victory so that you can be free right here with the eight of wands and to have a new phase or prepare yourself for new union some of you just need that in order to move forward and walk away with your head held high because this person's actions in the past may have left you feeling like it was all your fault okay and i don't know who i'm speaking to there but somebody needed to hear that okay yeah look nine of cups so i feel like you're going to get your wishes so to speak you're going to be able to indulge in some kind of victory because I do feel like, you know, even if this situation does not turn out to be a reconciliation, there's going to be, it's going to get resolved one way or the other. And it's going to release both of you to either have a new chapter together and start fresh and a clean slate or to shake hands, wish each other the best and move on with your lives and find new love okay either way for you virgo and this is your reading it's a win-win for you and even if this person does not come forward to apologize you're gonna know you're gonna find out in the month of may it's gonna come to you okay somehow you're gonna get wind of some major changes and things that where you're gonna realize that it wasn't i'm just hearing this wasn't all you but you will take accountability for your own actions, right? And please know I'm not passing judgment or being harsh. Um, I just, I'm a firm believer in truth and that's the Virgo in me. And I'm a firm believer in um, self-effacing and self-awareness. You know, not having a well-balanced look at things, not just saying, oh, it's all my fault. And not, or not just saying, oh, it's none of my fault, but saying, yeah, I might've contributed there. Let me take a look and see how maybe I did. And let's let's go on a discovery. Let's see, what can I improve? Because that's a Virgo trait. Virgos always want to improve. If, they want, if they're not improving other people, they're improving themselves, right? Either through health, mental health, physical fitness, hygiene, you know, career. They're always trying to just increase, increase. Do better, do better. Okay. Yep, you've got release your ex. There you go. The time has come to clear your energy so you're so i feel like even still i have to tell you this is definitely about your ex even still you and your ex are not on this you're never going to be on the same page ever ever that's what i feel like the outcome and the, and the whole situation i will go into the extended though to see um the full outcome of how things could change and go but i feel like here when you wanted to be with this person, they weren't available. And now they're getting themselves right and they're coming in and now you're kind of like, I don't know. You know, I feel like your message here is you got to release. You guys might just be on different timelines. That's what I think is going on here. You're in, you're in different timelines. That's why you really can never come together. Um, you were in different places. It was like two, two people who are right for each other good for each you know men for each other but just in different worlds or in different timelines this was not i don't know we'll look and see if your timelines are going to match up going forward in the extended the link will be below the video because now i'm just curious if your timelines are going to match up okay let go of control issues virgo allow the situation to unfold naturally so i definitely feel like you know whatever you're holding on to whatever you have left you let go let it go 
Just let things go. Let it all evolve the way it's meant to, Virgo. Just let it evolve. Okay, attraction. You attract romantic love. Let go and just enjoy your life. Enjoy this moment fully. Whatever you're doing in your life, you know, whatever you have going on, enjoy being mindful and present. Pay attention to your cat. Spend some time with your kids. Go feed your goldfish. Put a little water in that flower garden because your flowers might be dying. You know, go to the beach. Go say hi to the dolphins. You know, um, spend a little time with yourself, enjoying your life, the little things. Smelling those roses that you walk by when you go on your walks. Take that time to smell them. Go have like a... Just see, go into a coffee shop and order a real, real tasty treat and just let your palate dictate. That feel like get into your senses, you know, enjoying the moment. Be, be present. All right, let's see. Oh man, you guys, this card comes up every single time. So obviously, the month of May is screaming change. Been saying that it, I feel like May's readings have just been screaming change. Your surroundings will undergo transition. Things are changing. Winds of change, it's coming. As is, it's always expected. Change is permanent. It's always expected. Okay, you have the black cat. Your luck will soon change as well. Wow, that's great. Your luck will change. If whatever you feel like it, it may have been things didn't feel like they were in your favor all oh, the wheel is turning here good fortune that you're coming through a turning point here things are going to start changing if you're gambling yeah you might win some money okay you've got the gate again a barrier keeps you from your goals so pay attention to your blockages and your barriers and you have love true love and fidelity okay so that's coming to you as well. Fidelity, commitment, honor, integrity. Okay, true feelings are mass, the Harlequin. I feel like that was yesterday as well. In yesterday's reading, that's a little bit of a reminder that somebody was hiding their true feelings for you and are going to come out with them and then reveal how they really feel about you, their love feelings. Okay, and you have the king, authority and diplomacy. That's Aries energy is right there, 100%. Okay. Um, the emperor, emperor energy, male or female. Respect, leadership, strategic planning, and a father figure. Okay, so that might resonate for you. Okay, and you have the golem. A close friend acts on your behalf. Wow. Okay, you've got someone speaking up for you. You have some someone on your side right now um, is going to act on your behalf for something in the month of May. Okay, could be a court thing you're dealing with, or could be family issues, romance issues. Um, it could also be a counselor. There's just um, another party. That's as someone that that's close to you is going to give a character reference. They're going to act on your behalf. Whatever your um, maybe you choose a representative to help you through or help you with some something, and somebody's going to come in and you know um, stand by your side. I just heard that. What's that song? Lean on me. Um, when you're not strong. And I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. That's, that's the song. All right, let's take a look. I want to see what Chinese signs we have here. Okay. Now, just so you know, I just a little caveat. This could be a family member that we're talking about. This could be an ex, spouse, lover. This could be a friend. This could be somebody that you worked with. So let's keep that in mind here, okay? Okay, so year of the ox, year of the dragon. Now it could be your Chinese, their Chinese, both of, both of you. Year of the snake, 
the year of the rat, year of the pig, year of the monkey, year of the rabbit, we have monkey twice, and year of the tiger, okay? So if that doesn't resonate for you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading, okay? All right, let me see how much time we have left. Um, let's get into, I think we're gonna do, I'm gonna get into your numbers and your charms. You guys, don't forget, um, yeah, there'll be an extended reading after this. We're gonna see if your timelines are gonna come together. And don't forget, I have an ebook. There's a link underneath this video. 11 signs you're in a twin flame relationship. Go over to that link and pay for the ebook. It's very inexpensive. And um, you can download it. Right, is it a PDF file? Okay. All right. Somebody's dealing with a Leo, a Capricorn. Um, here's Sagittarius. Or it's Leo or Capricorn rising, hearing. Oh, there's a Ching. Somebody just bought one of my books. How about that? Okay. Or they bought one of my extended. That was good. So we have August 4th, 8th, 3rd, 12th. Okay. Somebody's 43. <clears throat> Somebody was born, or significant um, year, 1988, 1983, 1984. Okay. Um, and we also have the number nine, the ninth. All righty. Okay. So Pisces. Aries, Aries twice here, um, and Taurus, of course. Um, so the number 512, okay, we have October 2nd, May 12th. Somebody's born in 69, okay. We have 1111, very special day, special number or time. You might be seeing 1111 a lot. Um, and we also have somebody's born in 1973. Okay. Oh, and I also saw cancer. Sign of cancer. All right. Yep, Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer. What the heck is going on? Sometimes the same signs show up often. Um, okay. So we have the age 51, age 55, um, 1994, important year, mm, 95 as well, 1995. And let's see, somebody was born on the 21st and also the 12th. Okay, let me see here. Um, we have an August 24th birthday, August 29th birthday, September 15th, okay, 23rd, the 26th, August 26th. Um, I'm picking up a Libra as well and uh, so here's some special dates June 14th um, April 5th September 12th um, March 4th somebody was born September 1969 okay and somebody is 46 all right let's get some charms see what your message is here All right, so we have a unicorn and a Mickey Mouse key. Somebody going to Disney? Okay, Mickey Mouse key for sure. 
you're getting the key to your little resort there in Disney. Okay, so we have pink clouds. Pink cloud, isn't that a song? Or is that pink houses? I'm so old now. Um, something to do with a pink cloud. Okay, and we have a dragonfly. And also a, a white dove with um, a four leaf clover. A white dove with a four leaf clover. I swear somebody's going to Disney. Or they have, somebody has like a Disney keychain, Mickey Mouse. And it feels like a Mickey Mouse. Maybe somebody's name is Mickey or Michael um, as well. But it feels like, um, it's like a Mickey Mouse something. It doesn't have to be a key. The Mickey Mouse something. Um, and also um, this white unicorn with purple mane. It's very pretty. It's very childlike. A little girl, that, maybe a little girl that has a little stuffed unicorn with. Um, you um Oh, wait. Okay, something weird's coming through. There's. Okay, they just they said not unicorn. They said it's Unicode. Is that a thing? Unicode. U N I C O D E. Unic Unicode. Unicode. Okay, I'm leaving that there. I don't even know what that means. Okay. I guess like code is it a computer thing unicode or something um all right this dragonfly so i'm just seeing this um dragonfly thing in a garden okay in a garden with like a little crystal ball of some sort attached to it some somebody has this in their garden um now the pink cloud thing they're just saying it's it's a pale pink so if you see pale pink clouds maybe it's sunset or um or in, in at dawn maybe somebody's name is dawn um pink clouds represent something that just means that this is your reading if you and if you don't see it, it doesn't mean it's not your reading but somebody sees like a pink cloud sunset or just saw one or is going to be seeing one um, or might even see it like in a day or two and then remember this reading and come back and listen because this is your message here. Okay, and also this Dove of Peace with this, um, carrying this, um, they're saying um, peace and luck and good fortune um, is coming to you. But this four-leaf clover, now I know the shamrock is about the trinity, but the four-leaf clover, I should know this because I'm basically from Ireland. I should know this, but I can't remember what the, the four petals of a four-leaf clover mean something. I don't remember. So if anybody knows, I mean, I'll Google it when I'm done here, but I can't remember. But um, it means something, and there's something here about bringing peace this this dove of peace i'm gonna get one more because i'm just curious oh okay now we have a black cat interesting they're saying look at this message again there you go the black cat your luck will change soon okay something's changing in your life that's what that black cat they're they're saying and i'm going to put that right there on the black cat because that's what they're saying here your luck is going to be changing um, and then they're just giving me the goddess Isis, I-S, I-S, the goddess Isis. And I'm not sure what relates to that, but they just told me that. So I don't know if you have to look that up. I don't know what that means. I guess that was an Egyptian god, Isis. So there's something about that. It's, no, it's not the terrorist group Isis. Um, if you don't, if you've never heard of it, <laughs> please. We're not doing that here. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave your message. Remember, there'll be an extended reading here to see if um, you and this person um, will ever get on the same timeline like I was talking about. The link will be in the description box below. And I will leave your message here, and I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, have a great night. Bye.